less discussed desserts in the South. Okay, now, yesterday I got a little too ambitious and I said we would rank them in the comments, but we're gonna have to revisit that. Number one, I don't think I have the capacity to process all that data appropriately. I think I could do it by guesstimating, but we wanna do it right. So, I took a list of desserts that I usually see at covered dishes in the South. There's 28 of them. I put that list into ChatGPT and I told it to randomly select four teams. So there's four teams of seven. So we'll do one team today, we'll do team two tomorrow, team three the next, and team four the last. And once we have the results of all those teams' rankings, we will then pit them against each other in a tournament-style showdown. So know that the teams are randomly selected, they don't mean anything, and only one can win from each team. So what you need to do this time, go to my link tree, click on the ranking, go rank all seven of the desserts from today, and then we'll have a much more accurate aggregation of data. On today's team, you have a difficult decision because you've got to rank Peach Cobbler, Banana Pudding, Key Lime Pie, Divinity, Martha Washington's, Sweet Potato Pie, and Hummingbird Cake. When the going gets tough, the tough get going, and that's today. You better get going over to that link so we can get these guys ranked and settle it for this month. As always, we're going to remember to be kind in our comments. We're going to show love even when we disagree. So let's get into describing today's team members. First up, we have Peach Cobbler. Peach Cobbler is going to get its own category. There will be another category for fruit cobblers in general, but Peach gets its own category. A good Peach Cobbler is both simple and delicious. Banana Pudding. Banana Pudding is a classic. It's a staple, but it's got to be just right. A lot of people have strong feelings about real pudding versus the fake kind and whether it's warm or whether it's not. All these things we can hash out later on right now. We're just ranking the desserts as they line up against one another. Key lime pie. Now, like I said before, key lime pie should not be bright green. Make that with the zest of those key limes and that good juice. Mm, it doesn't turn bright green. Now, divinity. Divinity is a specialty and you may have never had it or even heard of it, but divinity is a fluffy cloud of sweetness. Sometimes people add nuts that's up to whoever's making it. And let me tell you, whoever's making divinity is an expert level. They know how to make cornbread. They know how to make cornbread dressing. They know when to make these things because divinity, like we said, is time sensitive and day sensitive. It's sensitive to the weather and the climate. You've got to be an expert to know not only the ingredients and process of making divinity, but you've also got to know how to read the weather. It's a factor. It's part of the recipe. And then we have Martha Washington. Now, Martha Washington's began with the Martha Washington's Candies Company, and it did pretty well all the way through the Great Depression. And now today, we have the resulting recipe that you would find at a covered dish. Martha Washington's are also a specialty, but they're not dependent on the climate. Now, sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie looks like pumpkin pie, but it is not. Today, we're just talking about the sweet potato pie. And lastly, we're rounding out with hummingbird cake. Hummingbird cake came from Jamaica. That's the island's national bird. And it's a delicious concoction of bananas, cinnamon, pineapple, vanilla, all that good stuff right there in a hummingbird cake. So below, I want you to tell me your number one only. Just list your number one at the link tree. Click on the link for the ranking and then go rank all these together. Tomorrow we'll do team two and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>